hi guys so I'm making this video to tell you guys another crazy story this one might be kind of long I'm gonna try not to make it as long but I think it might be long um, depends on how I get the story out um, I will have receipts <laughs> and evidence okay um so yeah hopefully y'all like the video anyway so I don't know what well, yeah I did say it um I was on a dating website and while on this dating website I met this guy that I'm gonna call know what I'm gonna call him Bobby because that's my dragon um anyway um I'm gonna call him Bobby because he was calling himself Bobby even though that's not his real name but because I said Bobby he's gonna know but I don't care cuz I'm not lying right now so anyway he I don't know if he subscribed to my channel anymore which I hope he not um but anyway let's start from the beginning so I met Bobby on a dating website and I was not really attracted to him in the beginning I wasn't when he messaged me okay y'all know I'm a big gamer I am very much into video games comic books you know that's like my lifeline that is something that keeps me level-headed even though I sink into a depression sometime and yeah um anyway comics are like my love um Comics and games are my love. I've been a gamer since I was two years old. I had an Atari. I had a Sega, Genesis. Um, I had the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. And I got the PlayStation 4. I have a Wii. I've had a 3DS, the Game Gear. I've had so many gaming systems because gaming is really me. So I put that in my profile that I was a huge gamer. So of course I had another nerd hit me up. Bobby was that nerd. He messaged me. We really kicked it off about games. I wasn't physically attracted to him though. I'm not really into looks like that but it has to be at least one thing that I'm physically attracted to. And it wasn't really nothing like that about Bobby but I loved his personality and we got along and we had so much in common we talked about video games and we played video games together but that was later on so um he was really interested in me or whatever and I start I liked his personality so we exchanged numbers we talked and everything and I noticed that he had a little jealous thing going on even before we actually got together um, he didn't want me talking to nobody but he was still messing around with his ex like I didn't understand that so but we weren't even together we were just really good friends at this point we would play destiny together GTA um, he wasn't really big on Call of Duty that I can remember I don't think so but we were like we played together all the time so one day I had asked him because we were talking about meeting each other right so 
I asked him. No, I, I said to him, has anybody ever told you that you stink? Now, if you don't know me in person, this might not be relevant. But if you knew me in person, you know exactly what I'm about to say. I have bad eyesight, okay? That's completely obvious, right? So because my eyesight is bad, that means that one of my other five senses are heightened which happens to be my nose. I have a, a nose like a dog. I've said it before, I'll, I can smell your breath and tell you what you ate a week ago, okay? My nose is that strong. I can smell everything. I can literally smell everything. That's how I caught my ex um, cheating on me. Cause he was telling me he was one place, but his breath said he was another place his breath said he was another place but anyway um so I asked him has anybody ever told him that he smelled bad and he was like no why and I was like I have a really strong nose and I said if you smell I'm gonna tell you and he was like and at first I was just joking around because usually I don't really tell people they smell like that unless they constantly around me. I'm going to have to say something because I'm not going to sit and stew in your stink just because, okay? I'm not going to stew in your stink. You're going to have to fix that. So I was joking around with him, but he was like, no, ain't nobody ever tell me that. And I was like, Okay, good, good. So, I had got me a 3DS. No, I've been had the 3DS. He got a 3DS. And um, he brought his 3DS so we can trade games. Because he had, um, he bought me a puzzle game. Something like that, I can't remember. He bought me a game and I let him hold my Mario game for the 3DS so when I first met him he got out the car and I looked at him he looked exactly like his pictures I wasn't attracted to him but the personality is what got me I was attracted to the personality so it was kind of windy out Cause it was like it was January around that time and like I said it was it was kind of windy out so the wind blew and he was standing in front of me when the wind blew I got a whiff of a body odor and I was like what is that so now sometimes I have no filter it's sometimes like sometimes I don't I don't do that but most of the time if I'm comfortable enough and I was at that comfort level with him because of the personality and the things that we had in common and stuff so I had no filter at this point so I said um what's that smell and I remember when I was talking to him on the phone he said to me he was gonna shower and then come and see me so he came up closer and his hands I smelled his hands and I was like what were you doing before you came here and he was like nothing I showered and I came I said you showered and he was like yeah I said, so you ain't gonna see another girl? You ain't do nothing? He was like, no, why? I said, because your hands smell like you been in a vagina or in some crotch or something. And he was like, it smelled like a, uh, his hands smelled like a stink vagina. Like, you know when you go to the bathroom, right? Like, if you in a public 
restroom you go to the bathroom and it was somebody in the bathroom before you and they have like some weird coochie smell <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Because I don't have that problem. <laughs> I'm going to just put that out there. That ain't no issue for me. I ain't ever had no complaints in that department. Okay. So, it smelled like he been in crotch or something. His hands. So, I didn't want him touching me. Because I felt some type of way. I thought he had done been with a female or something. Because I'm like, if he just took a bath and his hands smell like that, this is a problem. So then, I was like, okay, that was the first time that I met him. And again, captured by the personality, we ended up being a couple. And we actually did some videos together on my gaming channel now he wasn't in the video but I was playing against him in the videos if you get what I'm saying so or with him in the videos he was in a lot of my destiny videos my Street Fighter video um yeah uh, my Mortal Kombat we did a lot of gaming videos together right let me adjust myself for this so um the second time we met because I had told him about the older when he got home he was like he felt some type of way and that wasn't right and I said but I told you when you know I told you that I would tell you if I smelt something I said I'm sorry that you took it that way but your hands smelt like you was with another female before you came to see me and he was like no I wasn't and I said okay I believe you so we start going together we're dating nah alright I deleted my um I deleted my dating profile I deleted that profile so many times but like I deleted it when me and him started dating because that was the whole point of me having the dating profile so I told him I deleted mine he said he deleted his come to find out he didn't delete his so I felt some type of way so let me go to the messages hold up so um, he knew I deleted my profile or whatever. So like maybe a month later, I started having an issue with my PSN. And come to find out my ex, okay, my ex had basically stole, damn Ava, my dragon again. My ex basically logged in from his PlayStation 4 and took all of my content so none of the shit on my PlayStation worked so I was pissed off because I knew he had my login because he took my old PlayStation 4 okay and that's a, a whole nother story um he bought me a PlayStation 4 and then he took it back pretty much when we broke up so anyway, um, I had remade my, my dating profile so I can message my ex because I knew he had a dating profile on the same website. So he had, um, he got back on the, the dating website and I thought that was really funny because he told me he deleted it but he deleted the app he didn't delete his profile his profile was still there so I was like you lied about your dating profile I don't know if I could show y'all this part I could probably black it out but I said you lied about your dating profile you said you deleted it but I saw you online and I didn't say nothing 
and so he said I saw you were online and I said yeah I told you that I remade my profile to talk to my ex so I can figure out what he did to my PSN um my friend Jay he actually was helping me with um restoring my playstation account because i don't know exactly what my ex did but all of my downloaded content my zombie maps everything was gone from from um my psn my my purchased games were gone so i was pissed the hell off okay i'm a gamer i was pissed off so um I had told him that I was remaking the account so I can talk to my ex and he got on there he talking about I seen you was on I ain't say nothing I swear on everything I said yeah I was messaging him he talking about I didn't know I just saw you were on I'm like yeah I was on because I was talking to that nigga and so I said but I thought that you deleted yours because when you delete it, you have to make a whole nother one. He didn't delete his. He just deleted his app out of his phone. And so um, I said, you told me you deleted the shit when I deleted mine. I swear I'm tired of you. Just leave me alone. So I think that conversation happened because of the whole jealousy thing. When I said, I swear I'm tired of you. Because he had... um sent me screenshots of a conversation that was on my Facebook and it was a public conversation I was joking around with them because they always be joking around with me so the thing has said the status that I wrote I said while doing markdowns at work a customer mistakenly quotation marks grabbed my ass and said I'm so sorry that was a mistake I glared at him and said uh-huh it's okay but in my mind I'm thinking you motherfucker how the fuck you grab an ass cupping it by mistake you lying bastard so this is my status he screenshot this this is how I'm able to see the status so then one of my Facebook friends, Mark Kent, he um I actually had some of his music. He make really good music, by the way. Um I had some of his music in my previous videos. But anyway, he said, I apologize, the floor was wet. Just joking around. So then my friend Jay, the same one who helped me restore my PlayStation account, said, I wish I was him. I would have grabbed both cheeks. And I said, I'm going to beat your ass, LOL. He said, LOL, I beat that ass. And one of my other friends, Dalvin, said, I apologize. I was reaching for the hot cross buns advertising your store sales ads. Honest mistake. And they were joking, right? They were joking. But Bobby going to screenshot this shit and send it to me talking about I wanted to know what was going on and I got impatient so I called you I guess you just got the message now and so I said whatever nigga and I said bye and he goes regardless I'm still mad love with you and want you I just hope to God you see that I want to do you right seriously so I said just stop because we had like been going through it because of him and his exes like his ex kept being in the picture. Basically, since I had been talking to him, his exes were constantly in the picture. Like, and that was a bother to me. It was a huge bother to me. It was some other stuff, but the whole exes thing is what really was like, okay, I don't want to keep dealing with that shit or whatever. And so I said, you don't need to fix nothing. I am unhappy. Me telling him that I was unhappy, I didn't want to explain to him the real reason why I wanted to leave him. The reason I wanted to leave him is because every time we met up, he smelled bad. 
every time it was one time he smelled really good he sprayed cologne and shit but when you got closer to him it was his skin his skin smelt really bad and I didn't like that I like to be lovey-dovey with a person that I'm with you know his skin smelled bad and he always would tell me he just showered he just showered and so I tried to fix it at first I tried to fix the odor at first okay I tried to fix it I had done went and I was like asking him how he bathed like what he used to bathe and stuff and I said, well, you should get some Dr. Bronner's Castile Peppermint Soap. I said, you need a wash rag for your body, like, not your body, but for like your private areas, just a rag specifically for the private areas and a loofah. I said, it may be like an exfoliator, something to exfoliate your skin because something is not right that you're you telling me that you showering so it must be something with the way that you taking showers it gotta be it gotta be something with the way that you taking showers tried to fix it at first and it did work for a little bit but he got lazy on what i was telling him he needed to do and he stopped doing it I didn't want to be with him no more because I just I'm my nose I can't I can't shut it off so you smelling bad I can't deal with that I can't get down with no dude who smells bad even though I really did try because I liked his personality like I liked being able to play video games with him and shit like that and after we broke up like we were like I was over it okay and he was not over it I was playing okay I was playing GTA with my friend Jay so I'm playing GTA with, with Jay or whatever and tell me why Bobby pull up to my house in GTA he stalked me on GTA, okay? I kid you fucking not, you can't make this shit up. I knew something was off with the nigga when he stalked me on GTA just because I was playing with another person. He rolled by my house all slow and shit, and then he kept killing Jay in the game just because he was playing with me. And I'm like, this motherfucker is fucking crazy. How you won't? And, and then Jay making fun, fun at, at him about it, talking about, oh, I see you playing with this nigga at your crib. And, you know, just making a light of the situation, even though I ain't think the shit was funny. I'm just like, how the fuck you stalk somebody? in a game like you stalk my character in the game he literally was riding by my apartment in the game and and then he kept killing jay in the game ridiculous so oh my god so oh my god i'm all over the place but anyway so we broke up okay i was just over it we broke up but he wasn't over it he wanted to continue the relationship but by this point i had already done left the relationship see one thing about me a lot of people don't seem to understand once i don't care that's it i'm not gonna keep on engaging into something that i don't care about I, I i'm not gonna keep doing that like i'm just gonna ignore it i don't care that's just me like if i don't like something i won't i won't do anything with it like with my daughter's father that nigga been on block for the longest okay about a year 
he been on block and he always talking about me blocking him but the thing about it I don't like you so I don't want to engage with you period that I'm gonna block you out you ain't nothing so when that happened it, it, another thing that kind of pushed my feelings to that to that edge is the exes his exes were constantly in the picture writing me and he liking their pictures and leaving all types of smiley faces and kiss kissing emojis on their pictures and I'm just like why you entertaining these bitches and you they won't leave you alone but you entertaining them that's why so I'm gonna take myself out the equation I was just done I'm just like fuck that shit right so it was easy for me so then I get a friend request from a girl that I used to go to school with um I used to go to school with her but she knew Bobby and at the time I ain't think nothing of it because I knew the bitch I knew the bitch so she requested me on Facebook and then all of a sudden I see her going through my timeline she's liking all this stuff and you know whatever and I'm just like really bitch but I ain't say nothing right so then I get a message now this is a fake number because his number was blocked I blocked all of his numbers so I'm not even gonna black this number out cuz it's fake it's a fake number you can you can call it nothing ain't gonna happen he starts messaging me and he was sending me the stuff that I put on my um my Facebook I was talking about I had um he started sending screenshots from my Facebook so then I put two and two together and realized that the bitch who I went to school with and him he must have like got her information because I blocked him on my Facebook he must have got her information from her and went on my Facebook page to see if I was talking about him so some of the stuff he kept assuming was about him was not even about him okay it wasn't even about him but he just kept assuming ass ooming <laughs> that it was about him when in actuality I was talking about a whole nother person but again that's neither here nor there so my Facebook status said I've been getting text message after text message all day from this stink ass nigga who wants me to feel bad that I don't want to be with him because he stink. Nigga, your hygiene is not up to par and the way my nose is set up, I can't do it. Leave me alone and go wash your stinking ass instead of worrying about getting a female. So he screenshot that from my Facebook that he was blocked off of because he went through his that bitch I went to school with and he, he sent stank ass niggas LF LMFAO oh shit next time tag me matter of fact let FB know about all them trips to CVS I did for you and shit I'm gonna get to that in a minute LMAO you the real fuck nigga for that go to social media ass female but can't tag though you sad Harriet LMFAO First of all, I told you this shit to your face, okay? Second of all, the trips to CVS, he bought me pads. You were my nigga. You went to CVS for me and bought me pads. Oh my God, I'm going to tell everybody. He's my nigga and he went to CVS and bought me pads. Anyway. So then he said, I'm crying, yo. They were so right about you. LOL, shaking my head. People warned me to, next time you take shit about me, tag me, then fuck out of here. Talk shit. Funny how you didn't any of that shit to me, shaking my head. Scary. So 
then he screenshot another one of my messages from Facebook and said and this one said niggas nowadays just don't give a fuck about your feelings anymore I'm starting to really no I'm starting to fucking hate dudes cause I just can't keep dealing with fuck nigga after fuck nigga it ain't right fuck these niggas that's what I said so then he said don't give a fuck about your feelings shaking my head I swear you want the view shaking my head just stop with the ducking lies I wasn't and that wasn't even about him which is like the real thing that wasn't even about you but he just took it as oh she talking about me and wasn't nobody even fucking talking about the nigga like but anyway that wasn't about him but the stank ass niggas one was about him and then he said he sent me more messages losing you is one of the biggest regrets in my life so far I can honestly say that with a clear conscience and I can also say this with a clear conscience no one in my past and present and most likely the future whatever amount or or compare to what you brought to the table and the love and affection you gave me you're the best in my eyes and always will be I just wanted to let you know that and then he said I know it's real because I never in my life shed a tear for a female expect I guess he meant except my grandma who passed away and my mom made me realize the love was real makes me feel like I'm a dumbass no female ever touched me like you did Harriet believe it or not you got that it's just frustrating because all this pain makes my heart so heavy like my heart fell in a pit and I keep feeling it falling to, to shake in my head so then I replied back and I said, shaking my head, you don't need to cry over me, David. And he he goes, I can't help what my heart feels, though. Impossible. So then I said, goodbye, David. And he said, wow. Okay, you rejected my love. Wow. Wow. What a nice way to start a Sunday. I wanted to love you with every fiber of my body being I swear to God but you just rejected while you enjoy your day and move on from life and do whatever be with whoever who whatever just know that there was someone in the world that loves you like there's no tomorrow and wanted to give you the world and you rejected that and broke his heart goodbye so I said shaking my head I told you that I didn't want to hurt you and you just don't understand which I did not but he kept pushing me, like coming at me. And I didn't want to hurt his feelings by telling him the real reason I left is because he's thinking I couldn't take it. And plus the excess. But the stink one, the stink part was the big thing. So then I said, I get that you love me, but it's not going to work with us at all. I'm not happy with you and I can't do it anymore you can't force me to stay or make me feel bad to stay and I said niggas hurt me all the fucking time and the one time I hurt a nigga now I have to feel bad for it. you hurt me first him you know messing with his exes so I said I'm not happy with you I can't do it no fucking more with you and he said you are amazing person I truly am sorry for what I did I never meant for you to get hurt I wanted you I truly did but I didn't want to hurt either I know I have not been the best boyfriend that you deserve but I promise that I'll never stop trying I'm sorry Harriet please forgive me so I said I want you to stop because I'm not changing my mind because at this point I was just like it's done nigga so he said I'm taking it in stride no taking it in stride I swear no trying to realize and fix things last minute when I see you mad no more of that honestly 
I had too much time to think this through over and over. And I said, please stop. He said, okay, I'll stop. See, I'm the type of dude that respects you and your wishes slash mine. I feel like I'm broken, yo. I fucked up. And now God making sure I understand these mistakes. Dang, I can't only imagine how you felt when you was first hurt. If it's any W close to how I feel. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Harriet, and I hope one day we're, we're able T, to talk. And then he said, I get my dream girl and fuck that up. The way you said you're unhappy makes me feel like shit. Your pain now. I understand your pain now. I just hope you don't think it was a mistake messing with me. Everyone thinks I'm a mistake. I'm broken. So I said, please stop this. And he said I already said I would stop already said how I feel and how I wish things could change and how I could make it better I mean if two people really love each other it's possible to make it work right but I'm pretty much convinced now you're never going to give me another chance again I guess I deserve that I deserve not to be happy if I couldn't make you happy one person who meant the world to me and that hurts me to my very soul. I have to live with this mistake. Makes me feel like everyone is right about me. David is a mistake. But anyways, of course, I wish you nothing but the best, Harriet. Hope you thrive and stay well and all that. Have a good life, Harriet. And never let your past affect your future. Bye. And then I messaged him. I said, see, this bullshit is getting on my nerves. You're trying to make me feel bad and all that shit. And that ain't fair at all. I didn't say you were a mistake. And stop texting me that bullshit. I wasn't happy. Why I got to deal with being unhappy all the fucking time? Putting up with fuckery. Shit ain't right. Stop fucking texting me this bullshit. And then I said, um... hold up yeah then I said bullshit that fucking text earlier about how I can go on with my life knowing I hurt you and that bullshit and so he said we dated because we both liked each other it wasn't one-sided I said you annoying the fuck out of me because I told you I wasn't happy and you trying to force me to stay I'm done and I was trying to be nice about it so he said bye bye okay there you won bye and then he said, I don't give my love out like it's candy, Harriet. So when I actually do love the person, so to say, sorry to say, I said, leave it alone. I'm trying to get all these texts out and it's so hard because the way he texts. I said, leave it alone. Stop trying to make me feel bad for my damn feelings. So he said, I'm not. I'm just hurt and broken and wish it was different. You know how hard it is to hear the person you love say they was always unhappy. And the thing about it, I wasn't always unhappy with him. It's just that whenever we hung out, he smelled. And I just couldn't take that. Like his hands, his shoulders, his body just stink like he was not bathing right and then when I tried to fix the situation he did it for a little bit for like a few days and then stopped he got lazy with the routine I guess because he just wasn't a clean a clean person I don't know what the fuck but he just he smelled really bad and I just really could not take the shit it was really fucking bad so, um, hold up, let me go back. So then he texts me again. Like he was texting like crazy because of my Instagram and my Facebook. He was screenshotting my Instagram and Facebook and sending it to me and then making his little comments about it. So he said, I'm not full of shit and you know that deep inside so cut the crap at the end of the day this is what my thing said on um, Instagram 
at the end of the day I'm a good woman I'm not perfect by any means but my intentions are good my heart is pure and I love hard with everything I got because of those things I'm worth it always have been always will be and so he put love hard with everything I got you know that little emoji that's funny where was that with me though and I was ignoring him then he sent me another screenshot of my Instagram and said, how did you lose her? I felt trapped, but another man looked at my prison and called her a church. So I put hashtag church. He put you as my church, my world, my everything. You really gave me life. That's why I hurt so hard when that light went away. And then... <laughs> another one of my Instagram posts he screenshot it said all I want is someone who will love have and hold me only for the rest of my life or some, and only me for the rest of my life and he said I swear I thought I did that like seriously and then he goes the times I went to CVS he just kept bringing up you was my nigga and you bought me pads whoop the fucking do nigga but <laughs> anyway the times I went to CVS I was there for you when you were hurting that times you needed someone you know something and I had your back I guess that was all for nothing huh when you get someone <sighs> that wasn't even <laughs> It was deserved, but that wasn't even like, I ain't do that on purpose. But anyway, so he said, I guess that was all for nothing, huh? When you get someone to love and care, love, care, and affection and try to show them you mean the world to them. They just throw it away and shit on you, I guess, huh? So... <laughs> He just kept going on and on. I don't even have the rest of the screenshots because I deleted his original message. Even though I kept the one that he sent from um, the fake number. I kept the one that he sent from the fake number. But I ain't got the original messages because I just was so over him at this point. Because he was just ridiculous. Like... He kept trying to make me feel bad for my feelings and I I didn't care for him no more at this point because I mean it was a point I felt like he could have been the one because of us having so much in common but that quickly went out the window because I'm like I'm not like I don't really feel that strong connection with him if you get what I'm saying you know when you meant to be with somebody you have such a strong connection I didn't really feel that with him I just felt like he should have been my friend and I should have kept it at that level because we played video games and stuff together so I feel like I should have kept it at that level I think I mistook a finding a friend for a relationship I mistook that and that was probably my my own bad you know like I don't know I think that was my own bad cuz I think we were supposed to be friends because I didn't get that that strong connection with him it was just the personality that I was attracted to you know and he had goals in his mouth right but they were pullouts but he always wore them and I started getting the feeling that he wore them all the time because his teeth were messed up the bottom of his mouth he had a baby tooth like it was a tooth that never came out and then he had adult teeth and I was like trying to ask him questions about it he didn't want to answer the questions about it and I was like all right I felt some type of way about that um and that tooth bothered me like it was a little baby tooth and 
anyway you know I wasn't I wasn't all in in that relationship we dated for like four months and that was it and he was like crazy after that he kept writing me and, and then trying to make me feel like um trying to make me feel jealous and shit so then um months go by and then I, I get with Jamar and I made a video about Jamar on my YouTube channel if y'all remember made a video about Jamar right so then he messaged me and it was months later months okay months later so he messaged me and said I see you got a new dude that was quick shaking my head lol I should have known your ass wasn't honest and 100 back then so I said what the fuck and cause I didn't know who it was and then he said probably hooked up during our time and keep getting on my case to cover your tracks typical typically flaw female shit so then I said, who the fuck is this? And then I called his name. I said, I'm not into your bullshit. And I said, I just started dating him. How the fuck can you still see my pages with your stalking ass? And so he said, just started, which was true. I had just started dating Jamar. We weren't even together for that long. Like we had been dating for like a week, I think, at this time. And so he put just started lol okay if you say so no one's stalking your ass seen it on youtube but you good i already unfollowed your channel but funny how quick you got in one you got new one in your horse stable that say a lot about your character and makes sense why you was so quick and eager to leave and i said you are a fucking stalker I told you what my issues were with you. He said, shut the fuck up. It was on YouTube, dummy. I just wanted to point that shit out. And I said, I wasn't happy with you. And I got tired of telling you how much you stink. And then he said, because I find that creep an irony. Irony to me, because you moved on and found a dude so quick months later. But got mad when I deleted your pics. You so weird with it. Not okay. This part about me getting mad when he deleted my pics, right? He had pictures of his exes still on his Instagram page. But he deleted my pictures. But his exes pictures were still up there. So I said, so you delete my pictures, but your exes are still on your page that's what I had said like I said his exes were always in our relationship so that was another reason the main well two reasons the main reason he stank second reason the, the females the, the exes and so I said I don't know why you doing that but bitch you don't bathe right You want to be with someone, but you don't even wash your ass right. He said, blah, 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 excuses, bruh. And I said, I just started dating him last fucking week, which is true. I had started dating Jamar at that time last, at that time, it was a week. He said, excuses. I'm just glad I seen it though. Prove a lot about you. My girlfriend was so right about you. Bye. Hope y'all do well. And so I said, excuses, being, being stank is an excuse. And then I said, and you moved on, but yeah, you're mad at me. Good luck with your girl. I hope she gets your stinking ass to bathe, to bathe right. He said, I don't stink according to a lot of people. So I don't know what to tell your dummy ass with the Wolverine sense of smell. Too many people told me you tripping. And I said, nigga, please, they lie. You smell bad I couldn't take it it was true <laughs> he said yeah you tripping just couldn't wait to hook up with your new boyfriend it's understandable just be well for once in your damn life LMAO and I hadn't even met Jamar 
when me and him was together and when we broke up I didn't even meet Jamar yet so he just kept assuming shit anyway so then he said things I did for you and the way you treated me the way I treated you I truly like it king what and from everyone in telling me these past couple of months I did it deserve you did to me you are what call a fuck girl from what everybody telling you queen confirmed it everybody told me you probably had another nigga I didn't want to believe it but when I seen that shit on YouTube with your with you and your new dude that finally played me like a flute glad see that I was never loved it was all fake so I said you're such a fucking idiot shaking my head I didn't have another dude me and him just started dating last week I literally did not want to hurt your feelings by continu continually telling you that you smell bad date Bobby almost said his name that is the God's honest truth and your best excuse I stink LMAO get the fuck out I don't have to prove anything to you nor justify me dating someone. Leave me alone and please don't text me again. The last time I saw you, you smelled horrible. I said nothing about it. I changed my air freshener, wiped the seats, and kept it moving. The last time I... Let me tell y'all about the last time I saw this nigga, okay? So, I sold him my Note 4, right? Sold him my Note 4. When we broke up, I wanted my phone back or he was gonna pay me for that phone so I went to go and see him he was still trying to get me back he had just got off work so he gets in my car and sits down soon as he sit down stink he smelled terrible I was dying the windows was up I was roll I, I opened the door because I didn't want to make it seem like I didn't want to be rude to him about the smell or whatever. So I opened the door and I'm like, he gave me the money and then he started talking about us getting back together. And I was like, you know, I don't really want to do that. And then like the, the funny thing, I missed him because he was like a good friend, you know, and I was going to consider us at least talking again but then that older shit when he came and sat in my car to give me the money for the phone I was like fuck that shit I can't deal with that that's too much and then he was too in his feelings about me so I knew that it wouldn't work out with us being friends he'd still had that jealous shit going on so I knew it would not work out um so yeah when he got out the car, I had some wipes. I wiped the seat down and switched out my air freshener. And I just was like, I'm so happy this is over and done with. So then he said, after I said that, he said, whatever, bruh. Every female I talked to told me straight up, if you really loved and cared for a nigga, you would have found a way to fix the problem. Something in those lines. But no, nah, you ran. Didn't even want to put up a fight or nothing. Probably ran into another dude's arms. And I said, I did try and fix it, but you weren't listening. Which is true. I tried. Nigga, I tried. I told him you need to to do this and that and this and that and this and that so we won't have no problems with no body odor okay i didn't want to keep dealing with the body odor issue but it worked for a little bit but then again like i said twice already he stopped doing the regimen i told him to and then he said last time I seen you was when you sold me that broken phone when I gave him that phone that phone was not fucking broken so he said I just came from work so of course I stink what the fuck shaking my head you dumb I said please leave me alone I'm not dealing with your bullshit you have a girl go call her and leave me alone 
So then he said, whatever, bruh, you good, you happy. Just hate being lied to. If you found someone, you could have been 100. So then I said, nobody fucking lied to you. Leave me alone. Then he said, you just like Nisha, but nah, you fake it. Nah, worse. Have fun, though. Hope you can keep it real with your rebound. Bye. And I said, you're pitiful, beyond pitiful, because he's no rebound. What did I rebound from? A nigga who smelled bad and so used to his own smell that he can't smell it no more? I said, <laughs> I said, my relationship with him just started like i said we have been dating officially for seven goddamn days one motherfucking week i'm not lying about shit because i'm too real to lie about my shit i told you the truth i didn't want to hurt you continuously by saying you stink nothing to hide i tried to fix the issues i had with you if it were the other way around you would have left me for being funky because ain't no nigga gonna stay with no female who stinks not now nigga tell me one dude that you know that's gonna be like i love this girl so much but she just smells so bad like i gotta fix it not now nigga gonna stay with no female like that he gonna leave or cheat he's not gonna stay but me i tried to stay with the stink ass nigga I tried to fix it and then I started thinking why the fuck I gotta teach this nigga how to fucking bathe your mama should have did that shit so then he said can you stop before Nisha see this and Nisha was an ex of his that constantly came up in our relationship she'd been a part of the relationship since I first got with him like the exes it was Nisha and another girl they kept coming up kept coming up so then i said too real about my shit that i'm showing my dude everything you're saying because he knows the damn truth you're such a fucking child i don't care about what you got going on and you hate that shit a child with a baby dick and a body odor shaking my head i'm through drops mic so then he said, you ain't try to fix nothing, bruh. And I would have worked my way to fix it. That's what's different from you and me. But yeah, with this, I can finally put it in my past. So guck what you talking about. I'm just glad to see your true colors shown. Fake ex I ever knew. I swear, led me on. Bye bye. And please don't talk no shit. Don't let me go there. I don't want to make your ass cry. And I just didn't even respond to that because he ain't have shit on me. So I ain't really give a fuck. Like, you ain't have shit on me because I ain't tell you no shit or whatever. But like, only person who could probably put some shit out there on me is Jamar because he know every damn thing. That's the only nigga who could put some shit out on me. Other than that, this nigga couldn't put no shit out on me. Um, But yeah, like he just he would not let it go this was the last time i heard from him but this just made me laugh so fucking much because he kept trying to make me jealous by telling him about nisha by telling me about nisha i knew he was gonna end up fucking with that girl again that's another again that's why i said fuck that shit i'm not staying with you your exes are always in the picture she was at his house she came to his house one time and then she was sending him pictures talking about she got beat up and then oh can i spend a night to your house why the fuck is this bitch doing this shit and come to find out he was entertaining this bitch so that's why I was like, that's why it was so easy for me to just say, fuck this shit. Fuck you, nigga, with your stink ass. So, yeah, man. Um, I know this was a long one. I cut out a lot to save time, and I was kind of all over the place. I'm sorry, but this video probably would have been by two hours long had I not cut out a lot. Um, but, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I have not heard from him or anything since me and Jamar have been together. So that's a year. 
a year and change I ain't heard from him so yeah like I just think it's really funny how you with somebody but yet you gonna message me about me being with somebody oh my rebound so I guess your girlfriend is a rebound then even though she wasn't a rebound it was months later I mean even though he wasn't a rebound Jamar ain't no rebound because it was months later and what am I rebounding from like I was I dated you for four months like we wasn't married we wasn't like for years you know we wasn't together for no years and shit so what the fuck you talking about your rebound fuck out of here anyway that's it and uh, I'll talk to y'all later.